so i am back i know it has been a long while but covid has been rough on your girl i wanted to just do a little updated makeup routine this is what i do when i do my makeup during covid it's not a lot going on so i don't want to be like over the top i just kind of want to be like the bare minimum ish if you know what i mean and plus i've been in the sun a lot so i got the tan like i'm using all of my colors that were too dark they now match me perfectly um this look for the most part is really affordable it's a little bit of both in there i want to say most of it is drugstore or affordable i want to know what you guys have been wearing lately as far as covid my makeup involves a lot of powder because when it's summertime it's hot it is eight o'clock and still 85 degrees right now it was really hot and also between the powders and the setting powders it's going to keep my makeup in place it's not going to come off in this mask make sure if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see this look and see how i got it keep watching i'm starting off with my milani perfect conceal foundation then i'm taking my makeup revolution pro blur stick and i'm just going to rub that all over my face for a flawless finish As you can see, this foundation is pretty much empty because it's been the one getting me through quarantine. So I know you saw me with the Beauty Blended earlier, but I like to blend with a brush first for more coverage, and then I go finish off with the Beauty Blender at the end. This is the Milani Conceal Perfect Concealer, and I'm just gonna use that as my base because I don't wanna go too bright with my highlights since it's more of a natural look. To bring some dimension back into my face, I'm going to go in with my NYX Wonder Sticks for contouring. Same thing with my concealer. I like full coverage, so after letting it sit for a second, I tap it in with a brush first, and I'm going to go back later with my Beauty Blender. stick and putting on that brush for my nose contour but as you see I'm blending it out for the beauty blender so there's no harsh lines I'm gonna blend out my contour with a brush first and then I'm gonna soften the lines at the end with the beauty blender to make sure that everything is gonna blend together This Too Faced Born This Way concealer I am actually using for brightness. So I'm going to put a light layer on top of the other layer of concealer. This other one was a more natural shade. If you don't want your concealer to disappear when you blend it out, it's nice to let it dry for at least 60 seconds. I swear we look in a mess in the process, but when I'm done, it's going to come out cute. It's gonna go together, don't even worry about it. To set my under eyes, I'm going in with my Laura Mercy A setting powder. To make sure it's not too bright and I don't have any flashback, I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution Chocolate Banana Powder to kinda even it out. And I'm actually not going to dust it off. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender Puff and press it in to make sure that it melts into the skin. For my last setting powder, I'm going to use the Kylie Dark Loose Setting Powder to set the rest of my face. So if you guys don't know about this palette, you're missing out. It's the Sir John and Luminous collaboration for Lion King. It's a custom contour palette that he made. The colors in there are everything. It's my favorite. I literally bought a backup. And I'm talking to my sister because I'm getting ready and I'm doing my makeup for dinner that we're supposed to go to that she's supposed to make a reservation for. All right, y'all, so play us fuck up. I forgot to show you guys this highlighter, I guess because I figured you guys have seen it before in another video because I'm always using it but it's the Desi Katie collab from Dose of Color. I'm taking my wet beauty blender to push it into my skin but you saw the case. I'm taking my Laura Mercier to make sure that my contours pop on my cheeks. I'm 
taking my Anastasia brow wigs to get these brows together and this is what my sister tells me we ain't got no reservation. And of course we ain't got no reservation, right Megan? Mm -hmm. We ain't got no reservation nowhere, right? When everything needs reservations, are you gonna be standing outside waiting for hours? Which is why I kept saying reservation, reservation, totally reservation. I, I put this face on to be at dinner. Somebody need to see this. We had to figure it out. Just setting my brows with some Benefit Gimme Brow in number four. Taking some concealer to clean up them brows because of course I have not plucked them things. And on tonight, I'm about to fake it till I make it. Taking a little bit of translucent powder to set my eyes before I add my shadow. And by shadows, what I really mean is one of the colors from the contour kit because we'll be keeping it all neutral today. I don't know if it really looks simple, but this was my attempt to keep it simple. Since we're already there, we might as well slide it down a nose to make that contour pop. Okay, you know what y'all, I'm going to do better. I'm showing y'all the case again without showing you the products. Um, I'm using my highlighter as my eyeshadow because again, keeping it simple. I'm just going to enter a picture right here so you can see how beautiful it really is. Color is called Chasing the Sun. And I'm just taking a darker color from the contour kit to blend out the crease. I'm adding a black ultra gel eyeliner to my waterline. I know I'm looking a little cross-eyed, but tight lining will do that to you. Taking one of the browns from the contour palette to smoke out underneath my eyes. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner just for a quick line across the top. I don't necessarily need a wing, but my lashes need something to stick to. My lashes are Eye Lure by Jasmine Brown. I applied those off camera. So I'm lining my lips with one of my NYX brown liners. I don't know which brown it is, but all the browns are beautiful. NYX has the best liners. And again, we keeping it simple. I got the Fenty lip gloss on the lips. I looked in the mirror, was like, yo, a little more gloss never hurt nobody. Let's apply more. And that is a completed look, real simple real glowy the boldest thing about this look is the highlight and the lashes other than that it's just real natural soft and pretty thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed already make sure you hit that button until then i will see you in my next video Mwah.